Hi there, Keith Smith with Holland City TV, and we are at Art in the Park, and I'm telling you, this place is already packed. It's like 10.30, quarter to 11. It's a beautiful day. There's lots of artists here, everybody from painters to craftspeople and different effects. We're gonna be interviewing some of these people and just kinda of showing you what's going on. For those of you who can't get out, Hope you enjoy. This is one of my most favorite <laughs> artists in the world, simply because, well, mainly because she's my teacher right now and I take <laughs> classes and she's Thank really, you. really, really helping me. Thank Carolyn, you. how long have you been doing art? Oh, I've been doing art my whole life. Your it's, whole life. yeah, I was destined to do art. And so ever since I was in school, I would doodle on my math homework and and okay. doodle on uh -huh. everything. Yeah. So, um, yes, I'm very fortunate. And you've developed a very unique style. Where did you come up with that? I'm not sure. I illustrated children's books, and so I used to love black and white. Well, I still do. Um, black and white, and and so then I discovered color and just continued to do the strong black line. So, and then everyone says, what a unique style. So it's, it just it kind of developed. Great. It is great. And Thank you're, you. You're famous around town here. I mean, <laughs> you really you. are. And you have your studio up above Model above Drug. Above Model Drug Store, yeah. And yes. you offer all kinds of cool little things, kids' birthday parties where they can... We do. We have a lot of fun in the studio. I have classes and um, for all ages, and we have parties, birthday parties, and... Uh, showers. I'm having a baby shower coming up and cool. I had an accounting group come in and they just did that to relax and have fun. It took them a while to relax and have uh -huh. fun, a group of accountants, but we a had wine some... might have helped. <laughs> yes, we had a great time. <laughs> okay, well good luck today and I Thank hope you, you uh, do well. Where Thank it's you. a great day. You. Thank you. <laughs> Leif Spork? Yes. And where are you from? Uh, Sutton's Bay, Michigan, and I have a gallery in Fishtown in Leland, Michigan. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I'm looking at some of your tiles and stuff here. What, What is the material that you start out with here? It's, it's clay. It's a gray clay that we get from St. Louis. And when did you start? I grew up at a pottery, so I, my, my, my dad was a potter, and then I um, you know, started working with clay when I was just as, when I was a little kid, and then um, Actually, I went to Hope College and then I graduated from Hope and um, I uh, started as soon as I moved back home and instead of making pots like my dad did, I started doing tiles and that was about 10 years ago. Have you been here before? Yeah, this is, I do the tulip festival every year. I think I've done like seven or eight tulip festivals and then uh, this is my second year doing the, the Friends of Arts okay. art fair. And that's Very cool. Well, you have some beautiful stuff and wonderful ideas. Where do you get mm -hmm. your inspiration? Um, when I first started, I, was, I wasn't at art fairs yet, so I was kind of on my own, coming up with ideas. And uh, my general focus was going to be wildlife. So it was all the things that like, I grew up with, knowing that were like, really important to the area that is, you, know, you see in all different areas. And then as I would go to more and more art fairs, I get more and more requests. So even today, I've had about three or four different ideas. And then, like, in the winter and the fall is when I have most of my time to make them all. So that's when I start to kind of compile all the ideas that I have and I take the ones that are the most interesting and then just it goes into my collection and I have about 400 designs now and wow. it just keeps growing. Very cool. I don't, I don't retire designs either. I so you keep it to kind of a small, do you do big stuff? No, I keep, I keep small. I do, a, I do a couple big things but I, do, I keep them all, so small. yeah, I have a five inches by five inches. Okay, very nice, very nice. Well, good luck to you today and thanks for coming to Holland. Oh, yeah, thanks. thank you. We're here with Gay, and she does watercolor, and very, very beautiful. Where, where are you from? Actually, I'm from Holland, Michigan. Oh, you are from Holland. I am from Holland. Very cool. And uh, moved down to Florida nine years ago. Ah, uh, retired. retired. Yes. Yep. And there you go. Yes, this is my um, love. I like to, I just started painting, actually, in 2005. I was going to ask you that mm -hmm. because I also just started doing watercolor yes. and it's great. Oh, it's, it's such a relaxing thing. It's nice the different um, uh, effects you get with watercolor. Um, some can be real loose and wild and some can be a little tighter and uh, being so relaxing because I also play golf and that's not real relaxing okay, sometimes right, so yeah. I, then I go to painting. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> very cool. So did you 
did you go to school at all? I mean, as far as art? No. Nope. No, you just... I've been artsy all my life, okay. sewing and just different things. Okay. But uh, when we moved on to Florida, uh, a couple of my Canadian friends had taken some art classes and I saw some of their work and we just started getting together and they showed me a couple of things and it just kind of took off from there. Very cool. Very so. cool. Well, you do beautiful Thank work. you. Thank you. I really Thank enjoy it. Interview. Thanks. You're Good welcome. Good luck. Dallas, you got some amazing pieces here. Where, when did you start doing this? Uh, I've been at this for about 30 years. And uh, it's uh, about a 16 step process on every leaf from start to finish. So it's a lot of just busy work. Right, but if you enjoy busy work, that's what it's all about. Now is this on copper? Is this mostly It's copper? Uh, copper, brass, and commercial bronze. I'm using about three different alloys. Okay. So I would imagine a piece like this takes quite a while. It eats up a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the colors on these pieces are done with acrylic paint and airbrush yeah. on the cop okay. on the uh, reds and the violets and Very stuff. Very nice. Very nice. And then this is kind of a splatter. The uh, the co discoloration or the uh, patina on there is uh, done with. Uh, a chemical oxidizer is used for oxidizing gold and silver, tellurium and hydrochloric acid. So you actually have to splatter that stuff on there, neutralize it with a, a baking soda, clear rinse it, scrub it out a second time with a brass oh, brush, and why is this an insane amount of time on this I stuff? I guess. <laughs> I guess. It's, it's know, gorgeous it though. It really is. It really is. Have you always been kind of artistic? I got my degree in painting. Okay, yes, so, <laughs> yep, yep, so, we're not talking house painting. So it's hard, yeah, it's yeah. hard to get away from color. Uh-huh, uh-huh, very nice. I love the 3D stuff. It's, it's very, very interesting. Well, thank you. Okay, well, I hope you do well today, well, and thank you for the interview. It's going pretty good. Good, good. You're doing this beautiful yeah. glass work here. How long have you been yes, doing this? Six years. Six years. Yeah. Were, were you an artist before that? Oh, I've always been crafty. Crafty. So myself and a business partner, we've done this for a while. Thank you. So much. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it for yeah six years now. We enjoy it. And little fingers working them to the bone. Do you take Special. the basic? We take. Uh, we purchase and embellish, make it better. And just make it. Yeah, better. we're embellishers. Very cool. Very nice. So you're from Holland. No, actually from um, White Lake, which White is about three okay. hours from here, yeah. yeah. Is this your first art in so, the park? This is the first time here and how we love it. Beautiful. That's oh my cool. gosh, we will be back. Good. And the Excellent. customers seem to like it, so uh, there you well, go. Well, that's the best thing. You do beautiful work. <laughs> well, thank it's very you nice. very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you for uh, talking to us. Yes, mm -hmm. I appreciate you stopping. Okay, yeah. <laughs> See you next right. year. Chris, and you're an author. You've written how many books? Five. Five books. And when when did you start doing this? I started in college in the mid '80s when uh, I was uh, at Lake Superior State University. My first novel came out in '04. Okay. Uh, my second one in '05, and then uh, seven, nine, and eleven. And what are your novels about? Well, my bestseller is *The Secret Keeper*. It's the story about a shrink whose wife dies, and on the day of her funeral, he gets a letter from her but the letter is postmarked two days after she died. Wow. Yeah. That sounds good. It takes place in Mount Pleasant, Clare, Cadillac, Traverse City. Very cool. A cabin so, in the UP. So if people want to get your books? Mm -hmm. I'll be at the, um, the uh, in Centennial Park today until 4. They can go to uh, www.authorchriszimmerman.com okay. or they can go to Amazon and just search uh, like okay. The Secret Keeper by Chris Zimmerman and it'll really come up there. Sounds good. I think I'm going to have to get a copy of that one. So we actually had some people come up and tell us, you got to check this guy out. Oh, he is amazing. And I'm, I'm glad we did because... Well, I'm flattered to hear that. How long have you been painting? Well, actually, um, you know, this is a crazy thing to say, but um, I, I kind of, when I was young, my mom had brought in a shrink at the house to to kind of look at my horses I was drawing when I was about 10, you know? Okay. And uh, so it just kind of, just the first time I've said that, probably like forever, but yeah. I just went from there and uh, I took some art classes in high school, okay. of course, and in college, and um, 
my wife is an artist, and um, before we had a family for seven years, I did some painting. And then we had our family, and I kind of put all the paintbrushes away, and then when they all went off to college, I got them all back got out all again. all back out again. And then yep. I added the mosaic glass with it. Yeah, and I was going to ask yeah. you about this. That's uh, all new for me. That, last you four do or five that years. too? Yeah. I took the, uh, wow. the I took the oils that I wanted to frame, and then um, eventually she had bought me this, my wife had bought me this mosaic mm -hmm. book, you know, to try and do yeah. some mosaics. And yeah. So I did a few things for her, and then I thought, well, I don't know if this is going to work. And then next thing you know, I kind of put some of the mosaics close to the paintings, and then uh, it just started coming together. Very so. unique, and the colors match. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So does it take longer to paint them or to do the frames? Oh, definitely to paint them. It, uh, the oils have to dry and you have to do different sequences when you do them. So okay. in other words, you want to do the, the sky and you know on the beach before you bring the grasses in, of course, and that's the last. But yep. uh, the grasses, if you don't have the background dry, then the grasses will smear and will you smear. have to you know bring them out over the drier colors. So the acrylics dry so fast and you can do yep. anything you want. Yeah. But, but the oils are a whole new... Well, Andy, thank you for well, uh, talking to us, and good luck. Okay, so Sarn Wolf, the past city manager of Holland, yeah, how's retired life? Uh, can't complain. You know, days like this, it's oh, all right. It's so, just great. Uh, yeah, it's and beautiful weather and uh, art oh. in the park. One yeah. of the big events here. Oh yeah, yeah this has been going genius. on for forever. I said I can't take much credit for this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you kind of laid groundwork. I, uh, I still am in awe of, of how good the city is in as far as financial shape and stuff. I mean, look at Detroit and stuff. And I mean, I know it's hard. Well, I think, um, you know, Holland's been fortunate to, as you saw, I was just talking to one of the council members exactly. who's been on there for many, many years. Yes. Uh, we've had mayors that served for a long time. Um, we had. <clears throat> Certainly had turnover, but we had good continuity. I think where people were able to see somewhat of a vision. We've had just had a lot of good people that work for the city. Uh, some of them are like me are now retired, but uh, hopefully uh, we've laid a decent building foundation for the yes, future. Because Holland, quite frankly, has a, a lot of good things that can come come yet. Uh, I'm not too worried about Holland. We in my retirement, I've had a chance to travel a little bit and. The whole country really has struggled financially, yeah. And, yeah. and Holland probably has weathered a, as well as, uh, as most communities of this size, I would okay. say, and perhaps a little bit better. So. Well, Soren, it was wonderful yeah. working with you, and yeah. good luck nice in your retirement. Nice to run retirement. into you. Yeah. Thanks. Enjoy. Where are you from, Frankie? I'm from Saranac, Michigan, out in Ione County. I know where that is. Do you? Yes, uh, I do. Real I small do. town, yep. two stop signs. What? This is amazing stuff. It's Whatever got you into this? Recycled art. I was re laid off my job about several years ago, and uh, I'm a welder, and I got okay. a lot of scrap metal, and uh, uh -huh. had to do something. And my I got kids, and they take over the TV every day, and they watch Animal Planet nonstop. And I said, hmm, started making some bugs here and there, and then did a show, and started taking off. And so I collect all recycled materials, and everything's all hand welded by hand, no fabrication, no torches, and. Uh, Weld it all together and make bugs and anything from motorcycle parts, uh, bicycle parts, automotive parts, anything out of salvage yard or out of your kitchen utensils. Uh, any kind of imagination, anything you want, I can do. It's all hand welded. Very so. cool. So you get a lot of this stuff just from the junkyard? The rummage sales, garage. people donate, uh, throw away at scrap yards, dumpster diving at factories, metal factories. Yeah. People throw out recyclable stuff, recycle it. Resell it, keep it in the environment. Absolutely. Instead of throwing away, you make it rust away in the ground, and keep the environment healthy and uh, green, and make some money at the same time. You know, welding is an art all in itself. And, and where I used to work, we had a guy who used to weld, and I would watch him just with fascination about how he did it and what the materials, because you got to use the right. Oh yeah, Sticks, certain, certain type of metal uh, and yeah, yep. to make things stick and yep. so you've been doing this, what did you say, five years? About three years About now. Three years? Yep. Yeah, so we travel out and doing these little very shows cool. and festivals and it's and doing pretty good. hopefully you're making more money than you did as a welder. Uh, more, no, yep, yep. Actually. And having a lot more fun. My own boss and traveling around seeing the great state of Michigan and having yeah. a good time doing it. First time here at Holland and great show, Excellent. great crowd. This is fun, yeah. A lot of motorcycle stuff. Uh, oh, like these. yeah. A lot of motorcycle parts. A wrench on Harley's for the side and all the... When you work in Harley, ah. you always have spare parts. Uh -huh. So I put these parts in the little bikes. Everything comes from motorcycle parts. 
Very Everything is recyclable. Normally you throw this stuff away and it costs people money just to trash it. Just and to trash it. Then it goes in your ground and gets in your well water eventually. I am in awe. It's all lifelike and no batteries. <laughs> no batteries. No. Yeah, very cool. So, and it's made the rust. You sit them out in your yard and the rustier they get, the better they look. The better they look. Yep. That's what we like. They won't break. All 100% green. Recyclable. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This is hand weaving in the, in the oh, loom. This is weaving. Huh? Yes, Weave. weaving in the loom. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of Native American. This designs? is Native American designs and uh, uh, the colors also. It has mm -hmm. a lot of meaning. It's most about natural things. Mm -hmm. The the fiber that we made is natural, so it's nothing like chemical things. Okay. So you dye them yourself? We dye them ourselves and so everything nice. handmade. Where are you from? Original from Ecuador, South okay. America. I am Inca. I am based in Columbus, Ohio for more than 20 years wow. where I made all of this. Beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful stuff. This, this is my second year. Second my year? My second year with okay, this product. Very yes. cool. So how long does it take to uh, do something like this? Uh, depends on the colors because we try to make it like a, for a two, three days for one color and the combination. So it takes a week to design the, the okay. colors and different colors that we, wa we and, wanted to and make and it. And the and room then is the all mm -hmm. different Yes, cool. it's a family work. I have my sister, my brothers, and doing that, my husband too. So nice. it's a family. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, welcome to Holland, and I hope you do well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa, where are you from? Zealand, Michigan. So you're from around here. Yep. Is this your first art in the park? No, it's not. So you've been here before? Yep. I got two little granddaughters. They would <laughs> love this. Do you sew these yourself? And I do. Them? Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, I just had my daughter a while back ago, and I started okay. making her clothes, and I wanted to make some more and sell them. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. So do you go to other art fairs? Oh, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was yeah. just in Sagatuck last weekend. Okay. Have you been doing okay? Yeah, I've been doing pretty well this season. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Very cute. And they're all washable and mm -hmm. all that important stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can wash them and just lay them flat to dry. Very cool, very mm -hmm. cool. And do you do custom stuff if somebody wants I do. Something? If someone wants to call with a custom order or email me, okay. I take those as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, thank you for talking to us and thank good you. luck. Thank you. My name is Keith, too. Well, neat. That's great. Okay. How about that? Anyways, so there's something good about us anyway. There you go. So you do this wood art. Now yeah. I, I see some of the wood is darker than others. Is that it, different kind of wood? I, yeah, it's all different kinds of wood. I don't use any paint or stain. Okay. I, I paint with the wood that way I don't have to clean out the brush. Right. Very good. I hate cleaning out paint brushes. So how do you how do you put them together? You you gotta cut them and no. glue them? Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get right in here. I, that, okay, yeah. They're all separate pieces. I cut them fit them, make sure they all fit decent, shape them, uh -huh. and then I get them you know, all together and I glue them to a backing. They're like a puzzle. Okay, and I put them together, yes. glue them down, see all these pieces. Yes. Like this is uh, butternut wood, walnut, this is soft maple, uh, nice. you know, like the cardinal, that's bloodwood and redwood and oak, okay. satin wood. Right now I got 50, I think 51 different kinds of wood. Uh, and there's a lot more out there. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, you don't, yeah. Have you always been kind of a woodworker? Yeah, I've always done woodworking. I mean, I built my own house. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. Built a lot yeah, of my own yeah. furniture. Yeah, very nice. And I painted cars all my life. Okay. Uh, you know, I was buying body work. Very cool. Now okay. I paint. Now I paint with the wood. Okay. It smells a whole lot better. Yes. I'll separate a little piece. Of it. You work on just so long, first thing your eyes start crossing, and you yeah. have to walk away and yep. come back an hour yep. later and do it some more. So do you work on more than one at a time? Usually not, no. No, you try uh, to get one done. And uh, hummingbirds like this, I might stack maybe three boards together and cut three out at a time. Very I probably nice. spend more time picking out colors and grains and, uh -huh. that, you know, mm -hmm. and getting them laid out right. I might take a, an eight foot board and take a chunk right out of the middle. Because you, you got the, the grain you yeah. want. Because like, if the grain isn't right, you might as well go home. Yeah. This is your second this year? This is the second year here in, in Holland in, our, our, in the park. Yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful place here. This is, we have a lovely Gorgeous town. park. Yep. Okay, well, yeah. thanks for coming, and nope. I hope you do well. Thank we have you. been so far, yeah. We, good. We, we've got a show, good show going so far. Good, good. Like to hear that. Okay.